Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I just got off my shift. Um, I'm currently working at a pediatric home health agency and it's been really good. It's been very flexible with my schooling and stuff that I have going on. Um, I really recommend it. Um, so on this video, I just want to talk about what exactly I do for this case. Um, I know that a lot of cases are very different um, depending on the client's needs. Um, so basically for this client, you really have to watch her um, personality, her mood changes, just anything. Um, just kind of like monitoring the way she is every single day. Um, there are times where she could just not act um, her typical self and then it's very important to take note of that and tell her parents. Um, now luckily for this client, I just basically monitor her mood changes and do basic ADLs. I don't have um, this is like a very good case and you know a lot of home health um, cases sometimes the clients really take advantage of CNAs and they make CNAs do things they're not supposed to um, I remember one time I worked for this case um, now this wasn't a pediatric home health agency this was like a normal geriatric no, geriatric it was basically you know taking care of like seniors and this particular case I remember like one time or there were a couple times where she like asked me to do to clean out her garage clean out like the attic like just I was just like this isn't part of my job this is not CNA work you know I'm not your maid so, uh, I've worked with a couple home health agencies. Um, luckily, I found a case in this pediatric home health agency where um, I do get treated well. And, you know, I just feel like if anybody were a new CNA and they were going to go jump into a home health agency, they just have to, you know, really make sure that they're getting treated properly. Um, make sure you're doing um, usually home health agencies will make you have uh, the client sign a piece of paper of like the things they are supposed to be doing make sure you stick to that paper because you will get stuck doing things you're not supposed to be doing um, as a CNA so yeah um, let me think what else should I tell you guys um, if there are any future nurses out there, you know, wanting to see if uh, nursing is for them, I really do recommend going through the CNA route. Um, home health can teach you a lot. Um, I feel like it could teach, it could give you experience. Um, obviously, if you go to a hospital or an assisted living home, you'll get a lot more experience through them. But I mean, home health agency, is just as good. Um, you, sometimes you get put in cases where you work um, in a home or sometimes, you know, an assisted living home or a hospital will be understaffed. So you will get, look at the sun, you will get sent out to go to an assisted living home or hospital. I feel so shaky right now. I just had, well, I just, I just had, um, before work, I grabbed some Starbucks, and I've been trying this new thing where I don't want, oops, I've been trying this new thing where I don't want to um, drink too much dairy. Um, I know dairy can be very bad for you, so I've been trying it with almond milk, but like for some reason, the Starbucks, the iced coffee at Starbucks with almond milk taste really bad like I just do not like it like I feel like there's so many people that like 
iced, iced coffees with almond milk and I'm just like one of those people that just, I don't know, it just doesn't taste good to me. Um, there's um, this place called Scooters in Georgia where it's, they make their iced coffees with almond milk and it's so, so good. It's one of the only places that I really recommend drinking coffee with almond milk. Anyways, if anybody wanted to try almond milk with coffee, you should go to Scooters. It's really good. Um, let's see, what else should I tell you guys? Um, yeah, and if there are any new CNAs wanting to is wanting to do home health for the first time or an assisted living home for the first time or hospital for the first time there's this link that um, people do and it's called CYA and it basically means cover your butt make sure you document everything because you the worst case scenario is something may happen you may not document something small it may get you know it may get um, you may think oh this is so small like it doesn't matter for me to document it like whatever right but no in reality um, the next shift or the next nurse that comes in for their shift or uh, the patient resident client you know may worsen and you know and it'll be your fault because you do not document it and then it's a lawsuit. So please make sure you document everything. You don't wanna be that neglectful nurse or nurse aide that forgot to document something or just didn't wanna do it. Um, and yeah, so Pediatric Home Health, I think it's a new agency. When I tried to research if there were more uh, pediatric home health agencies around my area, there wasn't many. Um, so I think a pediatric home health agency is pretty new. Um, it's really cool. It's a different perspective. There's a lot of senior home health agencies and I do like that, but I did wanna also work um, in a pediatric setting to see if I did like it and I love it. I love kids. I mean, like, I love seniors also. They're just the sweetest things. Um, and yeah, time to listen to my music and drive home. You know, I, I, I um, work part-time at this home health agency because I go full-time in school. Um, now I'm on a little break, and after this, now I'm on my way to go home go to the gym because guys it's very important to take care of yourself and not get so burnt out with nursing because it's possible now does anybody is anybody so short that like they have to drive like this like with their neck up um, to get this thing covering your face because I'm so short this doesn't like help me block out the sun at all Alright guys, thank you for listening to my car vlog.